friends. I woke up this morning and I had no power. So I thought, well, now's as good a time as any to film my ink flight video. So I got this in the mail yesterday. Super cute. Um, and I tore the label off. Yay. So let's see what's in here. We got our paper. We got our little ink swatches. What do we have here? We have a pen. It says Ink Flight. We have these Midori Katanuki Fusen sticky notes. And they have little cutouts. That's cute. And, well, this is funny. A Nebula Note. Those of you who are watching my 30 Inks 30 Days may recognize this. Um, so, it's nice to have another one. Although, my biggest gripe with it is that it is not uh, stitched. It is uh, perfect bound, so in other words, it's glued together, and so I'm actually having problems with the pages wanting to just, like, peel out. But the paper is quite nice, and I suspect if you don't, like, don't shove your pencil board or your guide board all the way into here all the time, because I think that will weaken the spine. But I quite like it. The paper is really nice. It's probably new to Moe River paper, if you know that controversy. If you don't, just ignore it, okay? Paper, it's fine. All right. I'm really happy to have one of those, because I really like notebooks. <laughs> and where did I put I already moved things so that I don't know where they are. Maria, no. Let's open these. So I think... They come... Oh, nice. So you can do this and then, like, put them in a thingy. Like, a, I don't know. Like, if you go places and... If you're one of those people who works from a place... You could do that. Um... I'm curious to see if this paper is fountain pen friendly. Uh, so maybe we'll check that out at the end, if I remember. But now, on to the main event, because this is why we're here. So we got a bunch of Vinta inks. Now, interestingly, I've, I don't have any Vinta inks, and I've been wanting to try them. And the, of course... You all by now know that I watch Manda B, so I have actually seen her swatch these inks. Um, I don't remember them well enough because uh, I have been watched, binge watched, like, I, I can't even tell you how many videos. Why do I feel compelled to, like, perfectly peel this tape off? I'm sorry, I don't know. I've, I've binge watched her videos like many of them in a short period of time. So here they are. Um, I, Vinta Inks is from the Philippines. And um, so I don't actually know much about pronunciation of uh, Filipino or Tagalog uh, words. So apologies in advance. It's going to bother me if I'm honest because I hate not knowing how to pronounce things. So, I'm just going to assume that you pronounce everything you see. Uh, Leite. Sea kelp. How do we want to go? Let's go from this side to the other side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Peria. Blue floss. Um, Damili. Terracotta. Uh, Macopa, Malayan apple. Oh, mm, this one excites me. Uh, Pagtangi, clouds of gray. 
This looks like it could be shimmery. Okay, Maria, shake the samples. Don't let me forget. Lock by Sea and Sky. And Lakambini, the Maiden. Okay. Are we ready to go? This, we can't let me forget. I got a swatch on there. I'm putting it off to the side. Hopefully that makes me remember. I got my coloring cards. I have my little swatch kit. Um, I'm a little bit bummed because the rag I usually use to uh, wet or brush, the rag I use to wipe everything is currently being washed, so I have to use paper towel. I really try to limit my single-use products. Um, make a sip of tea. I'll tell you that. Nice thing about gas stove is that you can still use it when the power's out. Okay. And also, my ring light that I fixed runs off of USB power. <laughs> so my laptop can sacrifice some of its battery. So let's get going. Enough faffing about here. I feel like I should put paper down though because this is all splatted with ink. Whoa, scene change. Okay, sorry. If I remember, I try not to like do that weirdly. But I never remember. Okay, so... Um, it's, this also says, if we read about Venta inks, uh, made in the Philippines with the finest ingredients, each Venta ink is obsessively designed and meticulously mixed for use in fountain pens. Venta donates a portion of each bottle sold to quality education for all Filipino children. Their latest fairy tale collection takes inspiration from the beloved Lola by Basyang fairy tales and children's stories written by Severino Reyes. Exciting. Whew, it's already a warm day, friends. It's probably sometime after 10. This is going to be a hot one. Okay, first up, Leyte Sea Kelp. I don't think this is shimmer. How do I do these? I write the name, I squiggle. Great. Mm. My hands are shaky. Well, not surprising. I haven't eaten yet. Um, here, should we put these here so you can see? And then it's a little less weird when you hear water sound. Um, oops, friends, guess what I forgot to do? It's okay. I remembered forgetting the other paper. And it's right there. I used to use Q-tips for for doing these swatches, but number one, I didn't like the way they swatched. And number two, really trying, like I said, to stop using single-use things. Um, I and I like man. Uh, I learned from Manda's channel. I think it was her channel. That if you pre-wet the brush, the ink cleans out of it easier. Um, okay, what are we doing? We're writing the name. What's the name? It's over here. Thanks for hanging on, folks. It's early. I haven't had my tea. Blob. That's fine. It's fine, everyone. Mm. 
my handwriting less fine. What's really great is because I'm so focused on like what I'm doing, I'm writing over here, you'll be able to see how cool the Tamoy River paper looks before I will notice it. I mean, I'll see it before the video is up, so sort of. Cool. Let's hope we did all the things we were meant to do with them. Then we have Peria. Peria. <clears throat> Blue floss. I can't keep anything like straight, like where I want to have it. Let's do the name first. Oh, I just wrote, yeah, that's fine. Pretty light. I hope you guys can hear the wonderful scratch of this. This should not be as scratchy. I feel like I must have chipped the tip of it. To look at it in our loop. This one's really watery. I can't imagine using this in a fine nib pen. Lovely though. I did it again. Okay. But I remembered immediately. That's something. That feels good. I mean, now that I forgot. Oh, you know what? The color of that reminds me of the gauzeberry gin I got in. Um, and that was over in the UK. I got it. York <clears throat> at the York Gin Shop that took over the location where a tea shop used to be. Oh, I like, I'm seeing some halo happening there. That's nice. It's a multi chromatic shading ink and tea. Tamili Terracotta. This is why you don't clean it with paper towel. I didn't do this right. Look, it's fine, Maria. Just go. Okay. So that's a very vibrant. Color. To me, it strikes me as more red than terracotta, but this uh, lays down quite a lot of ink, more than normal handwriting would, or more than normal fountain pens would. No, it still strikes me as really red.
<laughs> like, nope. Still red. Or orange. Mmm. I see. Got the water a little too far up. I know you are all wondering, is she going to remember? If you placed bets with yourself, I hope you won. You can share your winnings with me. Ooh, the... Very strong and saturated color. My clean water is no longer clean. Let me fix that. Magic. Don't be as rough with your with any kind of good paintbrush as I am with these. Or with this one. Please. <laughs> um Okay, and we have, oh, I didn't say what they said. So, Leite, this says, seek kelp. This gentle green ink evokes the color of kelp as it floats in the bright, clear sea waters of Leite. <clears throat> Peria. Uh, this blue ink has the sweet hue of cotton candy. Obviously, the blue cotton candy. Uh, Damili, uh, the color of red clay. Damili refers to making pottery. Okay. Now we're on to Makopa, Malayan apple. It says the Makopa is a bell-shaped fruit known for its crisp pulp and mild flavor. Okay. I'll try it. Love fruit. Um, I tried so hard. Fell so far. I wonder, maybe we'll see one of these in 30 inks. Wow, this reminds me of spirit. Gummy berry, I think spirit more, possibly a bit Yamabudo. But I don't have that many inks, so that it reminds me of some random magenta color that I have is hardly surprising. This is amazing. This, if, if we're talking about fruit, it reminds me of dragon fruit. 
But I will claim that my dragon fruit was not quite that hue. Oh, it's neon in the water. Oh my gosh, and there's a sheen. Well, it's possible we'll see this in 30 inks. That's all I'm saying now. Also, I'm schwitzing. It is so warm in here. Bad sign. Also, I'm drinking hot tea. But ma romot. Ma Romotsui um, liked her red bush tea when it got hot, at least in the books. Next step, Pagtangi, Clouds of Grey. This is a gray-toned ink with brown and purple nuances flecked with a beautiful gold shimmer. Okay. I'm going to do the brush first then. I put too much on here. Oh man, did I put too much on here. with it, Maria. Now I gotta shake it again. I think this would be a really beautiful color for people who like um, warm inks. That chromatography is interesting. This one I'm not going to bother. It's fine. Maybe I didn't bother with the other one either. No, who cares? Not me. So that's Pagtangi. Pagtangi. Again, apologies to any Filipino, Filipino friend watching. You used to have a fair number, actually, IRL Filipino friends. No, I don't know. I don't have too many really. Okay, so lock by sea and sky. This is a light bluish teal reminiscent of the sea. It is overlaid with an earthy red shimmer. So we'll again do that. Now let's just do it in order, girl. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought. 
so Shake it again. This is a great way to spend a powerless morning. Or really any morning. I'm calm and meditative. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, probably this won't be morning when you're watching it. Unless you save it. I shouldn't assume that. It's not like everybody watches this, these videos on like the first day they're put up immediately. If you're watching this in your morning, I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you're watching this not in morning, I still hope you have a wonderful day. So there. Maria Rasso, hoping people have wonderful days. Since, well... Probably since last week. Before that, I just didn't care. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> At least since I watched Mr. Rogers. I don't like this color at all. <laughs> it's a beautiful color for someone other than me. <laughs> um, we'll come back to it. Okay, and then the last one is La Gambini. I like doing the painting first, so I actually will do that. La Gambini. This fairy tale inspired color is a gorgeous pink with a faint nuance of brown purple overlaid with a dazzling gold shimmer. I feel pretty certain that I have an eyeshadow like this. <clears throat> Did you see I remembered for all of them? Oh, I didn't shake it. Get off there. Shake it up. Okay, I've had my tea, so I can't... Uh... Not the color you expected, huh? Well, maybe it is, if you know the ink. It's not the color I expected. That writing looks positively brown. So, to put our writing 
cover our ink sample. Good job, Maria. Good job. Mm -hmm. Put our little penguin. I just call them that. Let's look at this. Look at all that gold. Like for reals, I do have an eyeshadow. Like I wore this eye. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, here we are. Like, for realsies, friends. Or like the color Rapunzel wore extensions from Fear and A reminds me of that one too. So that one's a lighter pink. Um, anyway, if you are into colors, let me tell you, eyeshadow is for you. Um, <laughs> and nail polish. And they're cheaper than most inks. So, let's look at our swatches on the paper first. So, they appear to mostly be dry. Um, our uh, Peria up here is not quite down here. It's not dry. Um, these are all stunners. Just for reals. This one is not at all my cup of tea because blue and red optically are going to create, um, they should create purple, but this honestly is more of a brown to my eyes. And again, I'm not a huge brown fan. So for that reason, also this one, not a huge fan of. This is a such a great orangey color. It's a... It's a really warm red or a really, I would call this orange red, like if it was a crayon. So it's orangey, but it is red, but it's orange. Um, it's wonderful. Not at all like my kind of color, but it's still beautiful. This one is just amazing. It actually reminds me of, um, I don't have it, but Rainbow in a Bottle from Kiwi Inks. This sea kelp latte color, beautiful. Not the kind of green I go for. It's a little more olive than I tend to prefer. Um, but really stunning. And then uh, Macopa. I'm curious to see. I'm going to try it. I don't love that it's green sheen on there and not gold. I would prefer it if it was gold because the whole green thing. And this Lacombini, I'm enjoying it. Look at this amount of blue that we're getting there. Fascinating. So this is all of them on Tomoe River paper, which uh, honestly I should maybe swatch on Cosmo or Light, but Tomoe River was the paper that I used to almost exclusively use for, for writing until I thought I would try a new journal. And then if we look at them on coloring cards, so here is... Oh, look, I got water on that. Let's blot it. You probably saw that happen. I didn't. Did some cool stuff. So here is Leyte or Seek Help. Maybe I'll come back and write the other word on there. Peria. This reminds me, um, in this writing, it reminds me of Petrichor. Um, which we could look at. Hmm, interesting. Should we do that? Yeah. Ugh, the colors are, of course, wrong on the camera. This is not blue at all. It's green. Sea glass. Not quite the same, and then I thought they were similar. I actually think if you took Sailor 224, Peria, and Petrichor, they make a pretty nice gradient. Um, this is so pretty. I love the like hints of pink that are coming in there. Not that you can tell. Um, this Damili, so lovely. Mm -hmm. Makopa. You can see that green sheen on there. 
I like that color of ink there, but I don't know if I like it once you've got the sheen on it. Because if you look at, if it ha sheens this heavily, hi, focus, thank you. This does not even look pink. So I thought it reminded me of what spirit? Oh, I meant opportunity. I said spirit. Or Yamabudo. Hmm. Yeah, it might be close to this. Without the sheen. Then we have Pagtangi. This is a really interesting color. That shimmer. It looks coppery to me. What do they describe it as? Gold. I guess it could be gold, but it really reads more copper or bronze. I do definitely have an eyeshadow that color. I have many that color. Then we had Luck By. So I do like the blue. And honestly, like I could just like not shake this and not get the red shimmer and probably love this ink. <laughs> And then, last up, La Cambini, which is a, a, it's a little warmer than I usually prefer my pinks. Like, if, if we look, I found it really interesting, because I know, um, from watching her videos that Amanda really liked Pink Ice from Inkvent, whereas I vastly preferred Party Time. So these to me are both pink. I'll give you that Party Time is a bit more magenta, but this is a bubblegum pink. And that's a lot that was warmer than I liked my pinks. And so this Lacambini is a bit closer to that, but um it's a little purpler. <laughs> I quite like that one. Now, here's a question. Do I feel compelled to buy bottles of any of these? I think the answer is no. Um, if I was tempted, without putting them in a pen, right? So, before this swatch dried, I would have said yes to Makopa. I love this Peria, this, the blue floss. But I worry that it's too similar to my Troublemaker inks and or some of the Sailor Ink Studio inks that I have, those really light ones. And I, I mean, admittedly, I now have a collection of pens that are cool with that because um, I fall in love with broad nibs. <laughs> and I tend to, I really like, so this I bought for glitter, ostensibly. Um... And, but it's really nice with these, um, it, with the uh, really watery uh, multi-chromatic shaders. Um, but anyway, sorry, we're not talking about pins, Maria. Gosh, get over it. Sorry about dirt. Uh, so, however... I think I I think what I should do if there are three that I'm like I want to try in pens, it's probably these three. So maybe I'll try and get these three or or or, or maybe a couple of them into thirty inks thirty days. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for far too long. Um, and have a one oh. Right in here, let's bring in the other stuff we got to be like, oh look, here was our inkman thing. There. Oh, we were gonna test this. Thanks for reminding me, friends. Do I have a pen? Yeah, I said I did. It's here. We're gonna write. I know what we're gonna write.
So, thanks for watching. My official assessment. Well, you're not going to write on the back of them, so who cares about that? But... Look at that. Oh, gosh. Today's going to be a great day for writing. I don't love it. Maybe with a less wet writing pen, but I don't, this is the one I have because this is today's thing. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.